Hey guys, Josh here, and in today's video I'm going to be taking a very first look at Moonglow Bay. This game just came out today, October 26th. It's available on Windows PC as well as Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. You can currently get it on Steam for PC, but on November 11th you'll also be able to get it from the Epic Games Store. And it is basically a fishing RPG and you're in this little town on the eastern coast of Canada. Basically you have to catch fish and cook your fish and sell it and you run this little shop and yeah let's just take a look at it. It's a game I've been looking forward to since the last few months and the developers Bunny Hug Games sent me a code so I'm super super happy for that. So you get to choose your character. It's kind of interesting because um, it's not like character creation, but you can choose still from four different characters. And it looks like they're all kind of older characters. They all have like white hair or gray hair. So I'm going to go for this guy and let's see what happens. What are the pronouns? So we're going to go with he and my name is Josh. Oops, Josh like this. Alright, so next you gotta choose your partner. So these are the same characters. I'm gonna go for KC and she. Yay. This game is so <laughs> cute. And of course you can already see the voxel style. So if you guys like Minecraft or Staxel or other other games in this style. Alright, so press K to get out. Josh, come on you guppy. Grab the line. So that's my partner, right? Fishing is easier than it looks, I promise. What are you afraid of? Nothing. Except for the water, the monsters. The curse. You know what the locals say. They're just stories. Every one of them, I promise. I just realized that I think the character I pick is maybe a female character, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. Here, let me show you the basics. Follow along with me. First, stand in a decent fishing spot, like at the edge of the boat, right here. Then select the fish and hook icon to begin. Alright, so let's fish. Now to cast the line. Fish will be more cautious if you cast near your boat or the shore. The further you cast, the more likely something will bite. Nice, this is kind of realistic. Press and hold the space bar to cast your line. The longer you hold, the greater the distance. Alright, so let's try this and see how it goes. Perfect. Now be patient. Keep the lure still and wait for something to bite. Oh, I just realized Casey, her last name is Fisher. <laughs> I just saw this just now. At the moment the lure dips under, press and hold the bottom arrow key to hook the fish. Be quick or it might escape. Once hooked, continue holding the bottom arrow to reel it in. Okay, like this. Alright, so let's just wait for some fish to bite. Oh, uh, yes, it's biting. Alright, so let's pull. So you just hold it. And oh, fish will change direction as they try to break free. So move the WASD in the opposite direction. Oh. Okay, I missed this one. Okay, let's try this again. So it looks like the fishing is quite interesting uh, But of course, that's the whole point of the game. It's a fishing RPG. So uh, Of course the fishing is gotta be fun So let's try to catch a fish. Okay, it's biting again. So let's try this again So just hold the down arrow and then a And then s Like this and it seems like it's a pretty big fish a eh? yeah it's definitely kind of <laughs> kind of difficult it does feel like fishing in real life right you know usually in games like fishing is always like super easy but in real life it's never easy to catch a fish right so it kind of feels realistic in that sense new species grating belly fish and apparently there's over like a hundred species of fish in this game which is nice and you can see the size, so let's keep this one. My very first fish. See? Easy when you get the hang. Give it another go, this time without my help. Sure. So, okay. And then we throw our line. Oops, that was not very strong, but that's okay. Alright, so I think it's starting to bite. Yes. And then hold. Oh, this one seems a little bit easier, actually. 
Oh, actually, yeah, it doesn't always tell you. I thought it was gonna keep telling me the keys to press, um, <laughs> but actually it doesn't. So you have to just figure out in which direction the fish is going. And then using WASD, you do the opposite direction, just like this. So it's the same type of fish, but this one's a little bit smaller. And you can either release it or keep it. So I'm gonna keep it. Fantastic! And a different species. Oh, it was a different species actually. We need a variety to cook and sell for a new business. Nice. Oh, 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 what's happening? And I think this game is kind of story focused. I think, um, usually, you know, sometimes in these games. Oh my gosh, is that a whale? Oh, wow. Yeah, I was gonna say, usually there's not too much story in these games, but I think this one has quite the story, I think. What kind of whale is that? Oh no, it's a monster. The curse. Oh no. Come to torment us. Oh no. Yeah, it's not just any whale. It's just a whale. Oh, maybe it is just a whale actually. Oh, this town's ridiculous superstitions. No wonder the fishing trade is ruined. I think it was more than a whale, right? It, the, it did look like a kind of monster. But the base full of amazing creatures, all waiting to be discovered, will find them and share them with the world. On that note, here, to celebrate our new adventure. Oh, nice, a little gift. Hey, what happened to No More Surprises? Feels like a book? I'll open it tomorrow night, once you're back. Aw, that's so cute. You still want this, right? We could always go back to Ontario. Hmm. Ah, they just moved here. Of course, moving here. It's your dream. But I'm asking what you want. What's your dream? My dream hasn't changed in 40 years to spend every day with you. Oh, that's so sweet. Then I'll be right here the whole journey by your side. Welcome home. Ah, oh, that's so cute. And it's kind of nice to play older characters. Like usually in these games, you always play like really young characters. And yeah, so we just moved in this little cute town, Moonglow Bay. That is so cute. Three years later, oh, oh my gosh, this game is, <laughs> this game is gonna make me cry. I was not expecting this today. Yeah, I think Casey Fisher is no longer with us. This is so sad. Oh, we still have our same dog. Oh my gosh. What happened? Okay, so there's someone knocking at the door. So that's our house. Uh, this is so cute. Like the... Yeah, everything's just so cute. Okay, let's go down. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, but this game takes place in the 80s. So that's why there's a big TV and everything. Wow, this is so messy. It feels like I maybe didn't clean up in a little while here. So, let's see who's at the door. Oh, who's that? River Fisher. Hey, Dad. Oh, River. Why aren't you in Quebec? I give my notice. Some things are more important. Why do I feel like something sad's gonna happen again? Is this it? Presumption of the aforementioned believed to be dead, owing to an absence of no less than three years. Oh... It's also real. Oh wow, this is such a mess. <laughs> so much like <laughs> take out. Uh, it's great you're here, but I'm fine, honestly. Actually, I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Centennial Festival. Oh. You're doing what here in Moonglow? The mayor says it will be a huge boost for the community, and people need the support. The whole base been struggling for years. When the fishing trade collapsed, half the town closed down. If we can't attract new visitors soon, Moonglow Bay might never recover. Anyway, on to brighter things. It's time you open that present. Let's open the present. What is this? A fishing journal? To my darling Josh for the journey by your side. You've been holding onto this for three years, Dad. Maybe it's time to write a new chapter. You're saying... I should restart the business? Precisely! A new street food stall is exactly what this town needs. You would be an inspiration. We should head out right now, catch some ingredients. Okay, okay, but let me tidy first. If I had known you were coming, 
and ruin the surprise? Hey, okay, I'll be down on the beach. All right, so we've got our little journal here that explains all of our little tasks. As you can see, this game is very Canadian. <laughs> so we already got references to so many like different provinces, Canadian provinces. And here we've got your equipment. Oh yeah, so I got yeah two great thing belly fish, three years old fish, but it's still it's still good. And so it looks like you can have different types of rods, different types of lures and baits, and recipes. So we know how to make fish and chips, fish cakes, and it looks like yeah, there's really a lot of recipes and catches. So you can see. Oh, there's a museum that we can complete, um, an aquarium, I mean. So I have to bring all the different fish. And looks like there's going to be some, yeah, a lot of different fish. Look at all of these pages. There's like 50. I don't know how many pages. There's really a lot of different fish in this game. And this one, I'm not too sure. All right, maybe they're relationships. And here's the map. This map looks so cute. I'm assuming each beach and shore is going to have different type of fish. There's a downtown, lots of different areas. You, you can also put some stamps on the map. But okay, let's just keep going. So first we gotta just clean up. So let's just take everything and put it in the garbage bin. Let's make things a little bit nicer. Okay, that's the last of it. The trash cans outside since you clearly forgot Fisher. So it seems like there's maybe two way. Oh no, I think maybe there's just one door we can use for now. So let's go out here. This is so cute. All right. So I'm assuming here is where you're gonna. Oh, okay. So that's the inventory. I thought this was gonna be like a shipping bin or something, but yeah, I think that's just the inventory. And I like how your character runs very, very fast. Oh, there are, oh my gosh, there are deers right in town. Oh, and the raccoons. Uh, yeah, just lots of stuff happening. There's some, is that my daughter or is that someone else? I'm not too sure. I think that's someone else. I wish you could zoom out the camera. You know what? Maybe you can. Um, oh, you can change the interface size. Uh, but I don't think there's a way to properly zoom out uh, but okay let's meet our daughter you were right the streets are so empty I barely noticed before the town needs investment pure and simple but at least you have everything you need for your business your fishing rod your kitchen and a place to sell food first things first let's catch some ingredients all right let's get some fish so I think we probably don't have a boat anymore Oh, so we got a fish here. When reeling, you can use a quick burst of effort to haul the fish in a particular direction. This technique is called striking. To strike, move WASD against the direction the fish is swimming, then press spacebar. Just don't strike too often or you'll tire yourself out. Okay, so let's try this. D and spacebar. Oh, okay, so it's kind of like a, some kind of boost. Oh, nearly. Once more. Oh, I missed it. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, fishing is definitely a little bit tricky so far. I'm sure I'm sure you're gonna get the hang of it eventually. Uh, but it is definitely tricky. So I'm trying to press in the opposite direction. And of course, trying to press space bar. But she told me not to do it too much. So I don't know what's too much. Oh, oh. yeah. As you saw, I just kind of dropped, dropped my line for like one second there. Oh, almost, 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 almost. Yay, got it. Ling. 14 kilogram. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's light on actual information. I'm an accountant, not a blubbing marine biologist. I'm sure the aquarium can help fill in the details. Since we're here, let's recap water behavior and alluring. Ooh. When reeling a fish, it will behave in one of three ways depending on its species. Fast species will dart around quickly to wiggle free. Reflexes are key. Aggressive species will use a combination of speed and strength to escape. Finally, resilient species are slow moving but strong. It will take several powerful strikes to haul one in. Fortunately, you can attract specific fish by using lures. 
Give it a go, select a lure and cast your line. Oh, that's interesting. That's a nice mechanic that there's different types of behaviors for the fish. That's nice. So I'm assuming, yeah, you're gonna have to go to the aquarium to know exactly their behavior. So let's change the lure. So the jiggler will attract aggressive and resilient fish. The spinner lure will attract fast and aggressive fish. Finally, the plug lure will attract resilient and fast fish. Remember to check which lure you're using whenever you cast. All right, so for now, let's try a plug lure, shall we? Let's try that. Let's press K and throw our line and then wait. And I think the shadow of the fish is always the same size, no matter the, no matter the actual size of the fish. So it always looks really big, but oh, this one is easy. Ocean Angel, 11 kilogram. That's a very beautiful, looks like a very beautiful fish. I don't know if these are all real fish or not. Finally, a word on bait. Baiting your line is essential to catching larger species of fish. There are two types, low grade and high grade. If you cast with no bait, you will attract small species only. If you cast with low grade bait, you will attract small and medium species. Finally, if you cast with high grade bait, you will attract medium and large species. Try it now. Select a learn bait grade and cast your line again. So, okay, I only have the low bait for now. So let's try this. And maybe we can change the lure. I already don't remember which attracts which type of fish, but you know, let's just try a different lure. And let's see how that goes. Also, I don't think I've said this earlier, but I really like how the UI looks like the little clock in the corner and the little map uh, at the bottom left. Um, it's just a very nice, very clean UI and yeah, the colors are good and yeah, it just looks very nice. No, so, all right, so new species slicing tail, six kilograms. So I'm assuming this one is still, even though I used the bait, it was still a small fish. Excellent. Remember, there's a huge range of sea creatures out there, so mix up your lure, bait, and location to catch a variety. Just be aware that your bait is limited. Be careful you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high-grade bait in particular will be in short supply. <laughs> wow, stop the press. Josh Fisher is out the house before midday. Hey, Abby, you remember River? Of course. What brings you to our shabby little burg? Wait, Josh, is that... You finally opened it! It's a fishing journal! Casey and I had a thing for these waters once. In fact, I'm reviving the business. Selling street food straight from the ocean. Josh? You? Are gonna? <laughs> nice, thanks, Abby. Sorry, sorry, but in three years you never once struck me as um, outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for a change. In that case, Captain Noodles, if you're gonna peddle peace in cuisine from the most cursed cove in Canada, I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. All right, so let's learn. <laughs> She's teaching me how to cook in my own kitchen. So let's cook. Okay, Josh, if you're selling street food, your kitchen is gonna be your new best friend. To create a meal, you need three things, raw fish, the recipe, and enough shells to cover the cost of any extra ingredients. <laughs> Collected recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into the kitchen, you can browse and choose which meals you want to make. All right, so we've got two recipes. They all look so appetizing. I love when games manage to make these delicious food illustrations. But let's take a look. So we've got two things here. So fish and chips and fish cakes. So fish and chips cost 10 shells. So I don't have any money, so I'm not going to be able to make them. Uh, so we're gonna go for fish cakes and I can sell them for 27 shells. So let's make this and you can choose a type of fish. So I'm assuming there's gonna be certain recipes that require a certain type of fish. But for now, let's maybe go with the grating belly fish and maybe we can make two. And you know what? Maybe we can make three and then cook. Your kitchen is always stocked with supplies, so the only ingredients you need to source are the fish. Okay, first go to the fridge and collect the necessary ingredients. Oh, this is so nice. And then L. Oh, now move to the different stations of the kitchen and follow the instructions one by one. 
and be precise mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sale value nice so if you look in the top left corner you can see the steps like wash chop boil so you're really gonna have to follow the steps so wash that's gonna be at the sink Ooh. oh and there's little mini games so washing move WSD to follow the marker and rinse the ingredients this game is so nice of oh so I have to follow the little water oh, that, oh my God, that's kind of tricky actually it's not it's not as easy as it seems it definitely is not and then chop Oh, the, oh my gosh, every step has a different mini game. Press when the marker is in each hit zone to chop. I am loving this so far. Like usually in a lot of games when there's cooking, it's just a matter of like selecting the ingredients and that's it. But I'm really loving these mini games. Move WASD to keep the water at the correct temperature. Oh, this one's a little bit tricky because it's a circle, so you have to um, yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky. Oops. Yay, and then fry. So hold, then release when the marker reaches the hit zone. Like this. Up. That was a very good frying, and then bake. I never made fish cakes. Do you have to fry and then bake? I don't know. Press when the marker reaches the hit zone. I don't cook with fish a lot in real life, I feel like. And I feel like <laughs> by playing this game, I'm gonna want to cook a little bit more with fish. Great, there are other stations around the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. Nice, thank you so much for teaching me. You know what, let's make another one and maybe we can see if it makes any difference depending on like if the quality is gonna be different. So I'm already, <laughs> you can say I'm already doing a little bit better. I wonder also if there's gonna be recipes that are just like more difficult where the little markers are gonna be smaller and things like that. And the animations are so cute as well. So, boil. This one is tricky for sure. Oops. Boiling should be the like the easiest thing in real life but in this game, that's the hardest one. And then fry, this one is nice. And then bake. Oops. Yep, that's <laughs> not a good baking. Alright, so as you can see, it's a two star. So was the other one two star? I want to compare them. Finally, always remember to put your cooked meals out for sale. The storage box in your front yard will have to do for now. Okay, so that's the box we saw at first, but I'm assuming later you can open your shop, right? Oh, I think you can pet your dog, actually. Yeah, that's so cute. Okay, alright, let's see. So let's open this. Oh, so the first batch I made, I think there are 17 seashells each. But the second one, maybe because the baking was really bad uh, for this one. So that's gonna be pretty good money, I think, right? Oh, and you can sell your fish just like this. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep the fish for cooking, right? Perfect, here you can sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Fish and meals will sell gradually throughout the day and the shells you earn will be transferred direct to your account. Mm, this old box isn't very appealing, you should upgrade to a proper machine. Harugoto runs the tech shop, he'll give you a good deal. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you'll need to recover your trawler. Chat to Sarah at the boat shop. Finally, for information about fish species and filling in your journal, speak to Marina at the aquarium. Josh, you're really serious about this? No one's been out on these waters for... Three years since Casey, I know. There are dozens, hundreds of strange indigenous creatures out there. And we both know what it's like to lose someone. I'll be okay, trust me. So, Sarah, Haru, and Marina, I'll see you soon. Alright, so let's meet all of these nice people. Oh, who's this woman? She, oh, Miss Chips. I really like the names of the NPCs in this game. I feel like everyone has, like, interesting name. Oh, hello, you must be the owner of that delightful yellow pup. Mm. Yes. Yeah, Waffles. He's a Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever. He likes chasing birds, barking at the front door, and rubs. I'm Josh, by the way. I run a small street food business. In fact, I'm looking for new customers if there's anything you'd like to try. Absolutely. But nothing too rich or spicy. How about steamed fish? Just like they made in Malaysia. Thank you very much. Oh, so they can make some requests, unfortunately. Yeah, sorry, Miss Chips. I need a little more time to make your steamed fish. Oh, that's fine. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again. 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to um, make steamed chips for her. Steamed fish, sorry, <laughs> for her. I'm sure she probably likes fish and chips as well, since her name. But yeah, Umbrella. Oh yeah, yeah, the names are so good. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you. Oh, sorry. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Looking for weird fish, right? Then watch out. There's a model creature out there that lures a sailor to their doom. You mean a siren? I mean a demon. Oh, wow. That sounds scary. Not right now. Tomorrow we'll speak again. Interesting. Okay, so I just got the name and the area. So it's at Resting Crag. So, yeah, I'm guessing sometimes you'll get some hints as to where different types of fish might be. Oh, as you can see this one, Davy Jones at Floating Stones. So, yeah, sometimes you'll get some hints as to where you can find a certain type of fish. So that's nice. And, oh, who's... Th oh, so that's um, Abby Brown. Whatever you need. So what is she selling? Abby's scraps. Oh, okay. So nothing for now, but I'm assuming that's going to be uh, useful at one point. All right, so there it is. Harugoto. Ha, Josh, a long time no see. What can I help you with? Yeah. Selling fish. Fish? Yes, fish. Why are we whispering? Uh, it's just been so long since anyone sailed bay. What are you currently using? Not much. My storefront is basically a storage box and an honor system. Ah, that's just sad. What you need is a windowed polyvend. A vending machine? For seafood? Absolutely. My dad ordered a few on special import. But with half the town shut down, our three units in stock are proving tricky to shift. Tell you what, cook up and bring me a simple fish and chips. Maybe I can swing you a new customer discount on the display model. Sounds more like a cooking you lunch discount, but okay. Alright, so I think... Oh yeah, now I have 64 shells, so it seems like I did sell quite a few fish. Uh, so I'm gonna go... I should be able to now buy the ingredients, right, for the fish and chips. So let's just go home, which I'm not sure where is my home anymore. Um, I think it's around... Oh yeah, right there. Okay, let's go home. Okay, I'm completely lost. Actually, I went the opposite way, apparently. Uh, but while we're here, maybe I can go to the aquarium and then we can go to the boat shop. I think the world is not oriented. Ex oh, yeah. If you look, actually, I should have seen that earlier, but the minimap. If you look at the minimap, the north is at the bottom. And is there a way to rotate? Oh, you can actually zoom out with Q. I wish I had known that earlier. But yeah, the north is at the bottom. And I don't know if there's a way to change that. It is what it is for now. So the the museum is here. The aquarium, I mean. All right, so this is Marina. Welcome. Apologies, the aquarium isn't open for visitors. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I'm looking for Marina. At your service. Wait, Josh, right? Casey's husband? Casey was the soul of this place. The only sailor unfazed by all the legends. Someone who truly recognized the potential of both the aquarium and Moonglow. Potential? For what? To be famous, there are countless species out there unique to these waters. Just a handful will make the aquarium a huge tourist attraction. With a little investment, we could study the whole aquatic biome, turn this archaic town of myths and monsters into a hub of scientific progress. But when Casey vanished, those dreams vanished too. How can I help? I'm fishing for my seafood business anyway. I could continue where Casey left off. Wow, that would be incredible, but it's a huge undertaking. Quite simply, the aquarium needs new species, as many as you can find. The more unique creatures we house, the more new visitors we'll attract. Business across town would benefit, including yours. Every new species you bring will boost your sales. Great, where do I start? To begin, just bring me three new species, any three you can find. Alright, that's nice, so even like working on other tasks, like on the aquarium, that's gonna help making money, so that's nice. So, okay, I don't have any more fish on me right now, so and somehow the m camera angle just shifted again. So I'm not sure if there's a way to change it by yourself or it just changes when you go in and out from buildings. But anyway, let's go see Sarah. Hey Josh, um, Fisher, and hello to you Sarah. Johnson, been a while, huh? Finally come to collect your trawler. Exactly. The two cats. Yeah. Seriously? I thought I was making a joke. <laughs> K 
clearly not a very funny one. In that case, let me find your paperwork. The two cats, yes, clogged fuel pump and the intake valve is shut. For three years storage, you got off easy. It'll be 100 shells for the repairs, you can pay once I've finished the work. 100 shells, are you sure? That seems low. Yeah, don't worry, it's the least for KC. Just give me a little time to finish up, I'll be in touch once the repairs are complete. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna get a few fish. You know what, I'm gonna make the fish and chips before I forget. Then we're gonna get the vending machine. Then after that, I'm gonna go get more fish for the aquarium. And yeah, let's make fish and chips like this. And so first you gotta take out the fish like this and then you chop it. like this and then you fry it like this and then let's get some potatoes and then you chop the potatoes yeah so it seems like every ingredient has like different markers different areas for the markers and then we boil the potatoes which once again <laughs> boiling the potatoes should be easy but it's not that easy all right, fish and chips. Oh, three stars fish and chips. So Haru is gonna be happy, I hope. So let's bring that to him. I don't know if it's too late. At this time, <laughs> we've got raccoons, deers, so many wildlife. This is nice. And how's our fledgling chef? Stuck this recipe. Is there a specific fish I need for fish and chips? No, any will do. Just follow the recipe, I'll be waiting. Yeah, I already made it actually, so. Let me give that to you, like this. How do you, your fish and chips. Impressive, let's see, attractive, plated, well seasoned, street style. Your presentation's top notch. The windowed polyvan is exactly what you need. It's eye catching and simple to use. Your customers will happily pay a little extra per dish. Tell you what, I'll deliver the display model straight to your house. It's all yours, no charge. Oh, that's too kind. That's extremely generous. Just keep cooking what you're cooking and think of how to you when you need an upgrade. You're so kind. Thank you so much. So let's just do some fishing for the rest of the day. So I'm not sure why. Oh, okay. You have to go to these fishing spots where the, there's a little sign, I think. No. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do. I think. Yeah. All right. So let's try to catch some fish. Okay, so I think that, <laughs> that was a very easy one, some pollock. So I think some of the species are real species of fish and others are not. It's kind of a mix of both, I think. I'm not, I'm by no means a fish expert. And once you get used to the fishing, like it is a little bit tricky at first. And of course I'm assuming the fish I'm getting now is like the easy fish. I'm assuming there's gonna be lots of like very tough fish as well. But yeah, you do get used to the fishing. Um, yeah, especially like with these small fish. All right, that's gonna be enough fishing for now. It's now 3, <laughs> 3.30 a.m. I don't know if you can pass out or anything in this game, but it's 4 a.m. and it seems like there's no consequence so far, which is nice. It makes it chill if you don't have to worry about time too much. So let's set the alarm for, oh, we can change. Oh, we can choose the time at which you wake up. So let's wake up at six and let's start a new day. And I like how the color of the UI is different today. So yesterday was blue and now it's green. I don't know if it's because it's the morning or uh, maybe because of the weather. I'm not too sure, but the color is different. So I appreciate the little change. So now that I've got three different fish, let's actually, you know what? Let's go see how do you... I want to see what kind of upgrade he has to offer. Hey boss, thanks again for the fish and chips. Thank you for the vending machine. Let me know if you'd like to try something a bit more outlandish. Nah, I'm not too keen on seafood. What about mussels? Nope. Shrimp? Blah. Lobster? Mm, I've never tried lobster. That settles it. One boiled lobster coming up, and if you don't like it, <laughs> you'll get back the vending machine? Um, no, but I promise to stop making you try new things. Nice, okay, so... Yeah, there's already a lot of people that want recipes from me. So, let's go... Yeah, it seems like there's lots of abandoned buildings, I'm assuming. 
more people are gonna move in. Yeah, actually most houses are completely abandoned, right? Okay, so the aquarium opens at 8. And it seems like in this game, instead of the schedule being dependent on the different days of the week, it actually depends on the weather. So, of course, the aquarium is always the same date, but me some shops will not open at the same time if it's raining or if it's sunny, which is nice. And, oh yeah, you can see the UI is changing, right? There were some clouds and now there's a sun coming in. So that's why the color of the UI was changing. So anyway, let's go in and talk with Marina. Hello, Josh. How are you doing gathering those three different species? Mm -hmm. Working on it. How come no one's helped you out these last three years? Because of the curse. Sailors won't dare go out. I can fish from the pier, but I'm a hopeless mariner. You don't need to point out the irony. All right, let's give you some fish like this. Fantastic! This place is finally coming alive. So as you can see, the fish were already added to the tanks. Uh, I can't wait to tell Olivia at this rate I'll need to buy a whole new wing. So this is only the beginning, right? You'll need more? Absolutely, lots more. This is an ongoing enterprise. Remember, you're helping the whole community. Every new fish will increase the sale price of the meals in your vending machine. Plus, as personal thank you, I'll provide all the information I can for your journal. Facts, fishing tips, plus any interesting folklore I come across. Moonglow Bay has been plagued by myths and mysteries for decades, but with your help, we'll turn this ailing town into a beacon of progress. Just remember, when you catch a new species, bring it straight here. I'll make sure to do that. And let's see if she has anything else to say. Hey Marina, anything else I can do to help? Besides bringing new species? Nah, not for the aquarium. It's all admin and permits now. I need to create space for new tanks to emulate the biomes of the bay. Maybe I could fix your lunch. Pick a dish, your favorite. Oh. I haven't had grilled octopus in absolutely ages. Grilled octopus? No problem, come in right up. Well, actually you're probably gonna have to wait a little bit for this. Uh, Cause I'm assuming octopus is probably gonna be a bit deeper. Probably not too close to the shore, but I don't know, that's just my guess. So, all right, let's make some dishes. And once I've got a hundred shells, I'm gonna go see Sarah. Oh, look at this, what's happening? You've got these, are these animals? I can't see very well. Uh, oh, let's zoom in maybe. Maybe that's her little dogs actually. I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, I think that's what it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they are dogs. Oh, that's Miss Chip's puppies. They are so cute. Okay, so let's go do some cooking. All right, so oh, I've got new things I can make. So sizzling fish, 25 each. Yeah, I think that's the most valuable thing I can make. So first, let's get our fish. Let's wash our fish. And I'm gonna try to get at least three star, right? Let's try to get at least a three star recipe for this one. Oh yes, three stars. Nice. And for the rest, I guess I can just make some fish cakes. All right, so let's see how good these fish cakes are. Two stars, uh, I mean three stars as well. So let's sell that. Let's just wait until someone buys them and see what happens. I don't know if they actually come here or not. Oh, you can choose where in the vending machine uh, the stuff is gonna be, I think. Oops, I just pressed the wrong button. So sizzling fish. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Yeah, you can actually choose the exact spot in your vending machine. That's such a nice little thing. Nice, so we're just gonna wait. Oh, I think one of them... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they get sold automatically, so you don't actually see people buying them. As you can see, um, the one that was here, the sizzling fish, is sold. So, now I've got enough shells to get my boat back. So, let's get our boat back. Oh, there's a quest here. Success! I recovered the two cats and purchased a shiny new vending machine. And that suddenly makes you Felix Wilson? Who's Felix Wilson? Who? Oh, the angler, famously. So what now? You attack the bay with a rod in a plucky attitude? Why? Is there something else I need? A net, for starters. Come on, let me show you. Oh, so you can do net fishing as well. Let's uh, try this out. Net fishing is a great way to acquire bait or to catch several small fish at once. It's also the only way to catch species that cannot be lured. So I'm assuming you can probably get crab and things like that. See those black insects? Those are sand fleas. Sand fleas provide you with low-grade bait, ideal for most fish in the bay. To cast your net, 
tap spacebar to build power, then tap again to release. Release when your arms are fully extended for a bigger throw. Give it a go. This is so nice. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so we just gotta find the right timing and then... Oh! Now to haul in those fleas, hold the down arrow to drag the neck back in. Alright, just like this. Okay, so what my aiming was <laughs> not the best. Uh, okay, but that's not too bad. So I got one minuscule might bug, two minuscule might bugs actually. So let's keep them and use them for bait. So, okay, let's try this again. Oh, okay, I think this one is gonna be a little bit better. I can at least get, oh, actually just to like this. So pretty much the same thing. Excellent, feel free to come back and catch more anytime. Every cent fleet produces three pieces of low grade bait. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird that the net, you don't throw it in the water. You just catch uh, things on the beach with it. But I'm assuming later on you can throw it in the water as well. Uh, now you can take what you've learned out onto the... Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, just look out for any dark areas in the water. Cast your net and you're sure to find something. Alright, looking forward to trying that. Hey, Dad, I just saw Sarah at the boat shop. The two cats is ready to go. Hmm, for the record, I really don't like you sailing out into the great blue yonder. Why? Because of the monster? Do not joke. People have lost their livelihoods to that thing. It's not a monster, I know that much. And we've learned all we can from the shore. <laughs> then at least get a decent radio from Haru's shop. That way, if you get into trouble out there and need my tugboat and winch, you can call. Oh, that reminds me, I've been summoned to a meeting at Town Hall. Wanna come along, Dad? I could introduce you to Mayor Tremblay. Very fancy. I'll wear my best outfit. <laughs> this one. On the way, could you send home Casper? I would rather not have both of you to worry about. Be careful out there on the water, Josh. I mean it. Okay, let's be careful. It's gonna be a busy few days. What shall we tackle first? Let's take to Sarah at the boat shop, get our trawler. There's a whole ocean out there to explore. I'd like to get away for a while. Alright, so it seems like there's quite a few things to do. Oh, another cutscene. Casper Brown. Oh, hi, Mr. Fisher. Hey, Casper, what's up? You seem miles away. Oh, nothing. I smelt this herb a while ago. It reminds me of Dad. I can't think of the name. Cilantro? Miss Chips grows loads of it. It's pretty common. That's it. Dad used to cook this meal with it all the time. But I can barely remember what it tastes like now. And I don't want to ever forget. Oh no, let's find you some cilantro. Maybe we can help. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna find some cilantro for you. Uh, but first, let's get our boat. That's my priority. Yeah, I just don't like how the camera angle changes every single time something happens. But yeah, let's get the two cats right here. Ah, good timing. I just finished replacing the intake valve. And for you, the keys to the two cats. Thanks very much. I don't see a car. How are you towing it? I'm not. I'm sailing. Sailing? Yeah, on the bay. On the bay? Are you alright? Sorry, yeah, but no one ever sails Munglo Bay. Not since... The collapse. Let's just say the tides are turning. In that case, I know one young girl who will certainly be blessed. Claire, Abby's daughter, if you catch up with her, she might have a small job for you. Aside from that, be safe out there. These are strange waters. Alright, we've got our boat! Woo! The world is our oyster, and our fish and our lobster, and every other creature out there. Haha, uh -huh. where shall we explore first? What's out there? A lot, and the weather can shift dramatically depending on where we go. We're in the calm bay waters here, but it gets a lot colder in other glaciers to the north. Then over to the east, there's the waking storm and the hot springs. Each area is split into sections, which will help you navigate. For now, let's catch some fish in the bay waters area. Let's check out the Azure Crossing, Perching Isles, and Border Sea. Wow, so it seems like just Oh wow, so you can control the boat. Oh, that's so nice. And what happens if you collide with... Oh, <laughs> you just bump back. Um, yeah, if you collide, that's not a big deal. So yeah, the controls are very smooth and nice. And let's open the map. Alright, so this is Moonglow Bay. And... Yeah, I'm assuming you can see the map is kind of divided in, squ in rectangles. 
So maybe each one of these is a different area and let's see how far we can go. I'm assuming since we don't have the radio yet, uh, they're maybe not gonna let us go too, too far. So now I'm at Azure Crossing. Oh yeah, so when you explore a new area, it will start showing up on the map. I don't know if you can get off your boat on these little islands. No, I don't think so. Um, okay, so let's try fishing a little bit here. So I'm not sure. Yeah, you just press K and that's so cute. Okay, so you go out and let's try fishing. Just a regular fish. So I'm assuming here I'm going to be able to get something new that we can't get near the beach. And this one is very easy. Oh, Pollock, actually. This one is pretty common. Uh, but I want to try to use maybe our net. So let's just go explore some more and find where we could use the net. So I think maybe here, right? Where there's lots of like little fish, actually. Yeah, let's try that here. So press L and yeah, so you can aim like this and then you throw it like that. And let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, so you get a lot of fish. So that, I don't know if that's gonna be like six different fish or like, oh no, that's kind of like two different fish. So child of the moon twice. All right, so let's explore a little bit more. So it seems like the world is gonna be pretty big. Oh, there's actually something to explore here. Should we, you know what, let's go over there. Let's try to see what's over there. All right, oh, so this is the border, border sea. Wow, this map looks so cute. So what do I have to do here? Let's check our quest log. Okay, so I need to get one fish in Azure Crossing, one fish in Perching Isles, and one fish at Border Sea. So let's get the Border Sea fish while we're here. All right, so ooh, brand new fish, Fanged Nipper. So I'm definitely gonna have to bring that to the aquarium. So now let's go to Perching Isle, which is just over there. All right, so I think here should be good enough. So let's go out like this. And I got blazing inker. Oh, nice. Oh, a hundred kilograms. So that's a pretty big one. I'm assuming this one is going to be quite valuable. Oh, fantastic. You've managed to catch something as they're crossing, perching Isles and Border Sea. But I'm curious, we haven't seen any sign of this monster. Yeah, we must be missing something. Maybe we'll learn more back in town. Yeah, the cozy cavern was a hotbed of strange local rumors. They must know something. All right, so you know what we're gonna do for now? I think I'm gonna go to bed because it's already 10 p.m. And maybe tomorrow we can go to the town hall and see what the mayor has to say. All right, so I'm back near Moonglow Bay, but... Yeah, I just gotta find out where to put my boat. And once again, I'm a little bit confused because the map doesn't let you... Okay, so you can put it here. Like this. And now, let's go home. Alright, so it's now the next day. So let's go to the town hall and meet Mayor Tremblay. And let's see if he has anything interesting to say. I'm assuming he's gonna tell us how we're gonna have to help him revive the town. And once again, I really, really wish you could rotate the camera because I have no idea. I know it's around here. Oh, okay, the cutscene just triggered. River and Josh, welcome to the end times. Oh no, what's going on? You're closing town hall? I have no choice. For years, we've barely scraped by. Actually, River, that's why I wanted to speak with you. There's no money left for next year's centennial. There's no money left for anything. I'm afraid I can't hire you. Moonglow Bay is finished. What? That's the whole reason I'm here, to help with repairs and funding. Surely we can do something? You're kind, but it's too late. Every building, business and public space needs renovating. Irony is, the townsfolk have shells to spare. Just look at the bottom board. 
but no one is willing to invest. The cozy cavern alone. Okay, so we start there. Just please keep this place running a little while longer. Hmm, you know what, Josh? Why not? One last hurrah. Town hall stays open. <laughs> Yay! Good luck, Mr. Fisher and River. I'll see you on Monday. Dad, you shouldn't have done that, making promises. Yes, I did. For three years, I've watched this town crack and crumble. Casey would never have let that happen. She would fight every day. What do we need to do? Quite simply, invest in as many properties as possible. Every renovation will steadily improve tourism across all of Moonglow, which will gradually increase the sale price of each meal you sell. Keep an eye out for renovation signs across town, then invest when you can. Come on, let's check out the cozy cavern. Alright, so you know what? Let's check out the cozy cavern. Oh, so here's the bulletin board. Is this what the mayor was talking about? Yep, the town bulletin board. It seems like there's still a high demand for seafood, even if no one wants to fish. These small jobs could be a great way to generate some extra income. Pick a task and let's get cracking. Alright, so let's see what this board looks like. So you've got different requests. Oh, so there are market trends. So it seems like every day some fish and some recipes will be more valuable than others. And you've got specific requests here. So you've got kind of time limits to accomplish them. So I'm not going to take any requests for now, but I'll probably come back here later. So let's just take a very quick look at the cavern. So it's on the north side of town. So it's just right here. JP Cloutier, hey, welcome to the cozy cavern. Well, what's left of it? So this is Moonglow Bay's famous rumor mill? And um, yeah, it used to be, before the fishing trade collapsed. Every night, there would be new stories of strange and eerie creatures beneath the waves. The tales would start out modest, of course, tentacles, giant eyes, a funny color. Then everyone would chime in and embellish with their own hazy recollections. Before you know it, that same creature is 10 feet long and summons the plague. The cavern did great in those days until the rivers came back to haunt us. And the whole town became too frightened to fish? I think I understand. The mayor said you are looking for investors. Yeah, and we're so close to our target. Hence me freezing my butt off out here in the cold. By all means, check out the sign if you'd like to add to the pot. Alright, so let's check that little sign. So it seems like we're gonna need 300 shells to renovate the cozy cavern. So we're not gonna do that right away. If you guys would like to see more of this game, please let me know, but I'm having a lot of fun so far and it seems like it's gonna be such a fun game. The fishing is fun, the cooking is fun. It seems like there's a lot to do with like renovating the different buildings and like all of these requests you gotta do for these fun villagers. Everyone has like fun personalities and they all have like funny names and like, I don't know, it's such a nice, <laughs> fun little game and it looks good. And yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to playing it more. It seems like the world is quite big. There's so many different fish. I'm probably gonna have to play it more before I can give you my thoughts on the game and maybe I could make a proper review at one point. Uh, but so far, with this first look, I'm really, really impressed with this game and I think it was worth the wait because yeah, I think it's going to be a great game. So let me know, guys, what you think of Moonglow Bay so far. Are you interested in this game? Are you not interested? What do you like? What do you dislike? Please let me know all of that in the comment section. And yeah, please click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content about Moonglow Bay, and I'm gonna see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.